traditional chalk and talk is a pretty small part of my teaching these days uh, and if I had to summarize what I do I think project-based learning probably comes closest but there are a lot of other styles uh, embodied in the approach that I take. If we talk about e-bikes or e-cars for that matter they're going to be predominantly used during the daytime certain hours will be busier than others. Um, probably going to be weather dependent to some extent. So it's how much space it takes 1,500 people on bikes versus 1,500 people on bikes. So we're matching this geo-analysis along with our user sense, our user matrix analysis. Both top results we're lodging. Oh, I, I can come back, you can back, back, back as well if you want to. In the last couple of lectures, we have described mathematically a sound. We've made, we've made, we've made a number of observations about sound-based phenomena, right, that I hope you'd be able to describe. I was pleased to see that many of you had done quite well on the assignment I set last week about calculating the power of a 15-meter wave crashing into the Irish coast, which we have again this morning, and I'll give you some feedback on those in your labs. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the theme of our class today is, again, conflict in African states. In our last class, we looked at general theories that explain onset of conflict in this part of the world. And our objective today is to try to apply those general theories to two particular case studies. So genocide in Rwanda and civil war in Sierra Leone. So I was curious before our discussion to see what your perspectives were on this. And whether or not you thought greed was a fully persuasive explanation or grievance could actually also be applied to this case. So I asked you to vote online and the results were really interesting because it was a 50-50 split. Being able to uh, build something from scratch and then have the product on your hand and see how it works, it's really rewarding. Well, we could be potentially changing how um how patients react with doctors and changing the, um, the overall medical health world entirely. It's, uh, it's pretty invigorating and stimulating to get a chance to really focus on, on a big area and a big challenge and have the resources behind you to, to make that happen. So let's get our minds working on this Monday morning and consider the question on the board. We have an oscilloscope here that we have been using in our lectures over the last couple of weeks. And I want you to tell me what the oscilloscope measures. So if you can just, on your own, think about that for a moment and vote whenever you're ready. Thank you. Um, who voted for grievance? What were your reasons? I just think that it was fought, like always fought with diamonds, but not over diamonds. Um, if that makes sense. So, like, they definitely fueled it, and they were an intrinsic part of it. But it wasn't like it was part of a deeper, like I think, social grievances, and like, particularly education grievances, and, like just lack of all kind of like all kinds of social and moral benefits. Um, I think caused it. So they fueled it, they sustained it, but they didn't cause it in the first place. Okay, so um, we have a 58% uh, of you think it's option D, which is voltage against time. The next biggest group think it's amplitude against time. And then 11% of you think it's amplitude against wavelength. So I'm going to allow you now uh, another minute, maybe a minute and a half, to talk to your neighbours about why you think you're either right or wrong. So again, form your argument. So off you go now if you want to chat. They're all really important points that kind of nuance this story and they pose us deeper questions that we, we, we need to go a bit beyond this archetypal story that this is all about diamonds and greed and place that in a political context. Kind of I'll split you into groups of six as normal with one um, person for each reading, uh, try and take one box each to fill in. Uh, find the evidence for greed, find the evidence of grievance, identify the other factors and then try to come to a thesis statement, like an overall assessment, synthesis, weighing up. I thought they were very professional. Uh, I think they're as good uh, as presentations that I've seen 
uh, and I've seen quite a few in the business sector. The future is bright. Ireland is, uh, you know, we're turning out some good people. I, I, I think that there's some stars of the future there. We produce innovators. Uh, we can also produce innovation uh, as an outcome, but it's innovators is what we're trying to produce here.